Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today, looking at a little error that comes up, says your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization. You may also find more than likely that your virus and threat protection here is disabled and you cannot enable it. There's a good chance you had malware, have malware, or a virus, so if you don't yet, you might want to stop here and scan with malware bytes just to make sure something has disabled your antivirus. So what we're going to do is... We're going to delete a registry entry, and I'm going to show you that at registry entry now. It's disable anti-spyware, and it's in this key right here, which I have linked to in our article as always. You can actually highlight and go to that, or let's simplify it by highlighting this code right here and opening an elevated command prompt with CMD. Right-click and run as administrator, or run as administrator over here. Click yes when user account control prompts you. Control V to put that line in there. And all I got to do now is hit enter. And you're going to be asked if you really want to delete that key. You do not have to type yes or no. You can actually just use the letter Y. And you'll get one of two responses. The operation completed successfully. Or you'll get an error because the key doesn't exist. Let's open the registry editor again. And press F5 to refresh. And as you can see, it's now gone. That should work. You may need to reboot. You may need to log out, log back in, and then come back in and come back over to your Windows security and see if there's a restart button here. If not, and it should have solved your problem, you want to double check in services that the Windows Defender antivirus service is automatic and running. And finally, you can re-register some DLL files. So once again, I didn't follow my own advice, which was keep the command prompt open. So let's open command again as admin. And you want to type these one at a time. There used to be other ones. Luckily, there's a few less nowadays. And you want to type those in. And you can do all of them. There's no harm in it. And see if, once again, open your Windows security and see if you have the option to turn your virus and threat protection back on. And it's a little bit of a pain to get down to this point, but these are the three things we know, with the first, as always, being your most likely odds of solving your problem. And there you have it. That is how to fix your virus and threat protection as managed by your organization. Thanks for watching. As always, click subscribe right down here with the Major Geeks logo, and we'll see you soon, I hope.